and the next moment my whole house began to shake, the house that we're in, right? <laughs> Hey guys, <laughs> hanging out at our house, 15, treetop lane, been here, eight years, it's a little bit more than that, eight and a half years, almost exactly, and the time has come, we are moving, we are moving, goodbye house, more information about the move coming, where we'll be, what we'll be doing, and more specifically, where we'll be going. Yes, yes. Good memories, good times. We've seen all of our vlogs happen at this house, except the traveling and stuff. But you know, the studio's here. This house really has an amazing story. We've had some amazing uh, times with friends and family and some incredible God moments and God encounters. So this video is going to be a little bit of a recap, a trip down memory lane before the entire house gets packed up. Although we've actually got a pretty good head start already heading into it, so. Yeah, this house has just been, um, like you said, really incredible on our journey. In these last eight years, I feel like we've had such tremendous growth. And I know me personally, I feel like I found myself here um, at this house, but the Lord was really clear and he said, um, it's beautiful to have memories, but you can't create a monument out of it. So we know yeah. that um, it's a new season for us. We're really excited. We know that God is on it, um, and it's going to be a grand adventure. Adventure, but for me, this, especially right here where we're at, like, and on this porch, it's probably my favorite place of the last eight years. Is just sitting on this porch, uh, reading my Bible, listening to the birds sing, um, just encountering Jesus in nature. Um, we have this beautiful little forest dish place right in front of us um, and it's just been a very very special place i've actually even had some crazy encounters with just specific types of birds like a hawk coming and landing on a, the tree behind me staring at me when i was having just a deep moment uh, with god and, and just some specific revelation the hawk came and and the hawk is often associated with like just um, prophetic so we've had some incredible incredible times here in this house and we're definitely going to miss it but we're going to carry it with us in our heart and on this video so one day i was right here just like this just praying just kind of on my face just you know going after jesus and i wasn't really feeling it I didn't feel his presence or anything but i was just you know like lord i'm just going i'm going to discipline myself to sit here and worship you and all of a sudden I heard, it sounded like someone ran up right on the front porch. And in the next moment, my whole house began to shake, the house that we're in, right? So I'm on my face just like this, and I'm just thinking to myself, my house is shaking. My house is shaking. I didn't know what to do or how to process it. I hope the chandelier doesn't like fall on me and stab me in the back as I'm praying, but this is the room. This is where it happened. We're, uh, we had, I had that crazy encounter of the house beginning to shake and it went on, I don't know. The whole encounter was about 15 minutes long from the shaking and then it, like, it went inside of me and I started buzzing and vibrating. So pretty crazy. We've had some crazy uh, Jesus moments in the study. It's been rearranged all different kinds of ways. It's Alicia's desk plus the editing station. You know, here's my cool roll top desk. and. Um, been really fun times. We'll probably, when we do get in our new place, have some brand new furniture, brand new things going on. So here's the blackboard, right? So generational revival and all those different kind of teachings kind of went up here and all the cool props and all the old school stuff. So uh, for some of this stuff, we will try to hang on to it. Some of it, this is the last time you'll see it. But uh, in the nine year, you know, almost nine years we've spent in this house, I can't believe how much we've grown. Before we got here and we got to Bethel Atlanta and some of our friends and family in the area, Papa Leif who's poured into us, even our relationship with you know Scott and Lacey Thompson and just different people who really mean the whole world to us. Jeremy you know, Naomi Connor taught us how to like be people. <laughs> but um, 
we really grew in this this time here. We had no idea when we moved in it would be anything longer than like three or four years at the most. And our whole time here all together uh, in April of next year will have been a decade. And so uh, a whole 10 years, our, almost our entire time in our 30s has been spent in this area with the crux of that time being the eight and a half years that we spent here. Actually, by the time we, we move out, it'll be eight and three quarter years. So essentially nine years in this house. And like Alicia said, th this isn't a monument, but it is a memory stone. And we want to remember the stories of encounter, of family and of friendship that we experienced here and our relationship. Alicia is behind the camera right now, but the, we've grown tremendously as husband and wife here. We got the, the kingdom family revelation, the revelation we have on empowering women, and things like that. And so, yeah, the journey continues. So this was my view for a long, long time, just while editing videos and studying and hanging out with Jesus and uh, doing stuff. The view right in here from the office. There's Riley's favorite spot to look out the window. She likes to do the same thing. So here we are in our living room, another place that just has amazing encounters, amazing life that happened here. We've had um, encounter nights where we posted the youth group years ago, um, and just the fire of God fell on the youth. They were all over the floor. Um, we've had home groups here where the little kids saw angels around the room. I've hosted ladies events here, Eve's table. We've just done so much life in this little in this living room. We planned for revival history classes um, and just did worship nights. This room is just rich with um, encountering Jesus. Yeah, so we'll swing around here, places you've seen before. This corner over here behind us where you see the picture frame and then the doorway, uh, that's like the angel corner. So people have seen angels there, we've seen angels there. Every night when I'm sitting here hanging out on the couch, I always see something kind of out of my mind's eye sparking in that corner. So I don't know if that's the portal corner or what's happening there, but we have a dream and we have the tree on it, so it's pretty cool. As you know, couples do, we were hanging out one night watching TV and just um, hanging out. So. Back then, the couch was actually on this side of the living room, right where the TV's at. So, we're sitting there watching TV, and then all of a sudden... All of a sudden, both of us, not just one, we saw like a blue electricity, like a fire that shot out of our office and into our living room. It was crazy. So check this out. So we were down there in the living room and all of a sudden, as Alicia said, fire came out of this side of the office and out of this side of the office. And it met together in the middle. It was like this yellowy crazy fire. And as it merged, it turned into the lightning. It came down, went across the ceiling right here. And then it shot out through the center of the fireplace. And we didn't really know what to do when that happened. We just like, did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Did you see it? Yeah, we saw it. It reminded us of the, of the encounter that we had at Papa Leif's office where the lightning shone inside the building and then we heard the thunder outside the building. And so just like then, I ran up here to make sure like nothing was on fire. We didn't really know what to do. Just like when the house kept shaking, I just thought my house was shaking and I just went about my day with, wow, that actually happened. And we just went back down and started watching TV. It was one of those more perplexing moments where heaven kisses earth like a shot when we were unexpected. And then we just kind of went about our day. But looking back, you know, a couple of years later now, we're really grateful for these moments to have these encounters that we've had in this house. It's been really wonderful. So just remember the, the good times hanging out at our house in our neighborhood. Amazing encounters, amazing Jesus moments. Yep, tons of growth, tons of love, <laughs> lots of family. What a wonderful season it's been. And we're so blessed, so grateful for the opportunity to be in this home for all these years and how God showed up and wow. Yeah, it's really it's been really awesome. It's really been awesome. good. So thank you Jesus for the time we've had here.